TSU didn't have any turnovers, and quarterback Ronald Butler didn't throw any interceptions in last week's 12-9 loss to Bethune-Cookman. But the red shirt freshman also didn't complete many passes to very many different receivers, only two in fact, and didn't throw the ball downfield very often. The plan this week against Florida A&M is to get Butler throwing the ball further downfield and spreading the wealth a little bit more. We're going to implement some things, guys, try to get more guys involved. You know, we have to uh, just come out, execute, and, you know, make the right read and just throw to the open guy. doesn't matter who it is as long as they're the open receiver. Butler said he had decent protection last week, though he was sacked four times. If the line does a little bit better job and gives him a little bit more time this week, he may find more open guys. You know, there's a couple mistakes here and there, but, you know, we're just going to get better each and every day and have more time in the pocket. It'll be up to offensive coordinator Mike Jones to figure out a way to help Butler this week find more open guys and throw the ball further downfield. Uh, you got to... You got to peel back some of the layers on a young guy and, and put some things in his hands, and we'll do something a little different this week uh, to help him along. Uh, we, we knew that he was ahead of the game, but once those bullets start flying in a true game, they tend to go to where they know. And so we got to make sure that he reads not just our guys, but more the defenders than anybody.